And hello again there YouTube, this is Stampede Valkyrie coming back at you again with a, another hopefully brief video. Um, as I promised, I got the flasher wired up on the bar that I was talking about uh, come yesterday with the red and blue offset colored domes. That's wired up, she's firing, 537 cam flasher, that's done. Just doing a quick function test as we can see. These two lights are flashing at the same time as I come over to this side here. These are firing off, motor's fine, little noise, probably needs a little grease. Uh, then these guys are firing off too. So literally it's, it's flashing, the, the flasher's pulling a, a left, right, left, right, left, right. And in a typical can flasher or thermal flasher uh, fashion, uh, it does not generally have an even flash pattern. But what's kind of neat about this while I've got it is this is the factory flash pattern. When I got the bar, you can see it's kind of going outside and then staggered in. So it's outside, middle, and then slowly, and then in. It's kind of neat, actually, if you ask my opinion. I think I'm going to keep that like that. But anyway, so just quick video tour, and I'll add this to something, too. As you can see, it's a uh, 24EH, uh, A1A, or 24EH, correct. So basically end lamps, which we've got, halogen bulbs, which are like so, um, and she works. I mean, this is my burning test at this point. Um, just making sure that the flash is going to work, that the, the motor is going to work. i got to do some grease as you can hear it. It is a little noisy. Not too bad, but a little noisy. The build date on this bar. Well, we've got 87 there. And we've got 87 on the motor. So it's a good, eye, good call that this bar was probably made in 1987. So anyway, again, keep this short. Uh, added bonus on this, and I had people ask me about this. So the flashers themselves, right? Get asked frequently, okay, we got a flasher. How do we wire it up? Well, in this instance, um, I have the flasher connected to the blue line coming in off this, off the power line here. So the blue wire comes in, comes into the flasher, and then splits into two separate lines, the yellows and the blues. If you're familiar with the federal wiring harness, or wiring colors, um, amber, or not amber, yellow, and the blue were your end lamp lights, while the green and orange were your alley lights. Well, since this one doesn't have alley lights, there's no green and orange. Um, so in this instance, it's one line, the blue one, comes into the flasher and then splits off to both the yellow and the blue, which causes the flashing going. Now, just a rule of thumb here is this is a 537 can flasher, like I said, which is correct. This is also a 537 can flasher, and this is just worth talking about real briefly. If you look at the flasher itself, you see it's three prongs. And if you look real close, underneath where it says Mexico, there's an L over here. There's an X over here. Get in there real quick. So an X here, an L here, and then if I rotate this, a P here. So just a rule of thumb, on these can flashers, the X is your, your 12 volt hot. So basically that's your power. Uh, the L and the P are your loads. So what's gonna happen is, is that you're gonna run your, your red or your 12 volt positive to the X, and then the X is then gonna be, uh, once that comes into here, your other lamps, be your left and right end lamps or whatever you're trying to flash, one bulb or two bulbs will sit on this one, one bulb or two bulbs will sit on this one. The general gist with the can flasher is that as this thing's in use, and it's not an even flash like the modern flashes are, is that as this thing gets used and power comes into X, it'll go to P, for example. This is a rough start. As the voltage goes through and it heats up the filament on the inside, it will release and go to the other side, and that's why they call it a thermal flasher. The process then repeats as that line heats up and eventually separates and goes back over to the other side. And that's what gets that little clicking noise, which you might be able to hear it. Uh, some of that is rotator wobble too, but that's what that clicking noise is as it's working. So this is my burn-in, as you can see. She's turning, she's burning. As you can see, that flash on that side is not very even. Uh, and then if we look over here, you can see that's a lot longer of a hold time. So there's a known issue with these can flashers. So in this instance, in this instance, uh, as I got interrupted there, I apologize for that. In this instance here, the, the thermal flashers, you can see it's not a real smooth flash between the two. And a lot of people will get away from the thermal flashers using uh, the FA3 Federals or the uh, like Tridon EL123As and stuff like that, which is a lot more of a smooth or more even flash rate, as you can see. Um, the, the one's staying, the other one is, is flashing very quickly. So just that's it, that's a known thing with these can flashers. Plus on top of the fact though, the reason why I'm sticking with this is because this is period correct for this bar. 
Um, there was no, well, they, I guess the electric relay flashes were starting to come out, but they were not in standard use at this point. So that's that. Uh, just keep it simple. Uh, hope all's well. Uh, eventually, at some point, I'll throw the domes on this and get my standard video up. I just figured I'd talk about this. Thanks. Have a good night, guys.